So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can pick peaks, integrate, and reference your NMA data using Topspin. So once you have imported your file, the first step is to pick peaks. So we go to Analyze, Pick Peaks, and it's pretty easy. You just have to select all the peaks you want to be picked, and Topspin will do the work for you. If you want to zoom in on an area, you will just deselect this symbol and zoom in like this. You will get a better view at those small intensities. And you can do the same here. You will just select all these peaks. You can even do them all at once if you wish. If you decide, okay, no, I don't want some of these. Uh, I want to deselect some peaks. You can go here to define region for deleting peaks and you do it in the same manner as you did before. We just select them and yes, delete peaks. And now they're gone. So just to show you, it could look like this. The important thing is also that you pick the reference TMS signal, which should be found or right. So we'll just save. Because now we have to reference our, our peaks because this is supposed to be at zero point zero 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 so we'll just zoom in onto this area even more and we have to keep this number in mind 0 0.0149 we go to process calibrate axis and now we have to look here we need to hit the shift as good as possible so we'll just stay here i click and then i will set it to zero so now our TMS signal is really at zero and it will also change the other shifts as well in the same manner. And now you have your peaks picked and you have your reference right. The next step is to analyze it with integration. So we click to integrate and we can zoom in at first. Let's say we want this area to, to be bigger and we want this area to be bigger. And we can just select this bar here, do it like this. We drag the area we want to be integrated and then we have our integration value here. So I will just pick a few and let's say we have these three. If you integrated all your signals as you wish or as you think it's right, the next step is to take a look at the values. So right now this, the first integral will be set to one and all the other integrals are in comparison to this integral. If you know uh, these signals here, they don't belong to one proton, but you know they are from so four protons. Then you go right click onto this area, you click on calibrate current integral, and you will set it to the value it is supposed to be. So let's say four, say click, and now it will change all the other integrals as well. So you should do that if you really know where this signal is coming from and there's no discussion about that. Another strategy is to, to say, okay, I know in my molecule there are six protons in total. So you can go right click again, normalize sum of integrals, and you will just set it to six. So it will set the integrals that if you sum them up, they will come out as six protons. Right now it doesn't work so well, so this is pretty bad, but it's only an example. If you do it for all the integrals and you do it right, there should be some decent values. So that's just something you have to figure out for yourself, which is the better way for your particular molecule. So if you wish to delete some integrals, you will just go onto this green button here. It will at first select all the integrals. If you don't wish all integrals to be deleted, you will just click again. And then you can click manually on, let's say this integral. And then you say, just delete it. If you wish to undo that, you can just click right here and then it will be back. When you're done, you can save it. And in your spectrum, you will now have the peaks and the integrals. And the next step is to plot it. I will show you this in a different video. And I will also show you how you can make an inlet so you can really zoom onto this area. So it will look really professional. So I will really appreciate it if you leave a like or subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding Topspin, you can also write me a comment. And thanks for watching.